Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and this video is sponsored by Artlist. Today, I want to share with you a playlist of my 12 favorite songs on Artlist that you can license to use in your wedding films. More than just showing you a playlist of 12 songs, though, and saying, here's some songs, I'm also gonna be showing you how I would use these songs in a wedding film, which will hopefully save you a ton of time whenever you are searching for music to use in your films. There's also a link down in the video description that is going to give you an extra two free months with the purchase of a one-year art list subscription. So you get 14 months for the price of 12, where you can license and download unlimited music for use in your films. And to be clear, because I know some of you will ask, any music you license with your art list membership is valid in perpetuity, which is a fancy licensing term for forever. Even if you decide to not renew your membership after those 14 months, all the music that you license while your Artlist subscription is active is still licensed, even if you aren't a member anymore. These songs are valid forever. It's awesome. Okay, let's now jump into my 12 favorite Artlist songs for wedding films. Welcome to Artlist and my Artlist playlist. I'm now going to play through, not the entirety of all these songs, don't worry, just through parts of them, and I'm gonna show you examples of how I would use them in a wedding film. So, let's start off here with Breathe by George McKay. This is a good example of a calmer, more building song. So it starts off, far more ambient, you get some guitar coming in, nothing too crazy. This could work well if you have somebody speaking over it, such as toasts or speeches or a couple reading a letter or vows. The last thing I want you to notice about the song is that right here at the end, the waveform gets a little bit louder. And while this song does not have some dramatic, super intense hit, it does have a nice moment where the drums get significantly louder. So if you have say a moment in your film that you want to punctuate with a more emotional moment of a song, that's what this is going to give you. The song is about to get quiet, and then it gets a little more epic. Right there. Not super intense, but you could definitely use it for a more reserved epic moment with a couple. Up next we have Don't Let Me Go by John Isaac. And this is another song that is not super intense. Don't worry, we are getting to the more intense stuff. But what I like about this song here is it has a really nice percussive beat while not being overpowering. This song feels positive and upbeat and it would work well for the couple getting ready if you just want some fast shots of them doing that or even footage of the couple going out and doing things on the wedding day. For example, sometimes we film the groomsmen going to the park and throwing the frisbee around or we filmed a bride and her bridesmaids going on a hike before. Things like that can work really well with a song like this. There are two moments where this song is going to get more intense. Right here and a little bit later, about right here. I really like these moments because they prevent the song from feeling static. It has some nice highs and lows. Third, we have Don't Wake Me Up by Josh Leakey. Leak? I think Leakey? I'm gonna call him Leakey. I may get in trouble for that, but I think it's Leakey. Ah, I love this song. Starts off real quiet, real, real subtle piano, but don't worry, it's not gonna stay there. Gotta love some quiet, hopeful piano. This would work well for a quieter moment of the wedding. If you wanted, say, footage of the couple together, but you also wanted audio of them reading heartfelt letters to each other while this song is playing, I think that that could work really well. What's cool is that in a second here, you're about to hear some vocals come in as well that are subtle, but really add to the emotional depth of this song. See, subtle, little subtle vocals, I love it. Right about the midway point is where this song is going to start to build, and this song gets so epic. So, if you decide that you actually only want to use this as an epic song, you could cut off the entire first half of this track and just use the second half. And that is still plenty of length for you to do some really, really cool stuff in your film. For this building moment, I'm imagining footage of the guests coming in for the ceremony. And then you have bridesmaids walking down the aisle and the groom comes out and he's waiting up at the front for the bride. So it, things are starting to build up to this epic crescendo moment where the bride is walking down the aisle. You get the subtle drums coming in, building an intensity here. And as you can see, things are gonna get quiet, then they're gonna get loud. Oh, 
Love the quiet piano for this. So good. You get the drums, you get the piano, you get the oohs and ahs. Oh man, okay, imagine Bride walking down, like doves are being released. Oh dude, it's cool. It's real, real cool. It's just such a pretty song. Keeping with the building theme from the last song, we have Finding Peace by David James Terry. Starts off real quiet at the beginning with piano and synth. About halfway through, you start getting a little bit of guitar coming in. And then here at the end, you have some drums as well. There is never really a hit with this song. There's no crescendo epic moment where things break down and go crazy. Instead, it's just this constant build. And builds like this can be really good to build anticipation. Everything's building up to this moment, just getting more and more intense. So if you want to build up to a more epic moment of the wedding day, you could definitely do that with this song. Let's bring up the intensity a bit now with Drift by Be Still the Earth. Be Still the Earth is one of my favorite bands on our list. Let me just tell you that now. If you need some good music, listen to their stuff. All of it, so, so good. First thing I want you to notice is that this is a seven minute long song. It really feels almost like three songs in one. So if you don't like the beginning, try the middle. And if you don't like the middle, try the end. I'm betting that you will love some part of this lengthy song. I love the subtle synth at the beginning. If you wanted slow motion footage of the couple dancing or something like that, that could look really cool with just the subtle sound bed of the synth with occasional guitar. That could work really, really well. Next part of the song, we still have some synth. Definitely a little bit louder, but still ethereal. So keeping with that vibe from the beginning. At about 3.30 is whenever things start to change and really this song starts to pick up. This is my favorite part of the song and really the reason that Rachel and I chose to put this song on this playlist. Four minutes in, you start hearing some more guitar, some drums, and it definitely is starting to give sort of an angels and airwaves vibe, which hey, fantastic band. If you want to sound like a good band, choose Angels and Airwaves, super cinematic. Coming right up about here on the waveform is where things start to get really crazy. So just like these other previous songs where they're building up to a moment, if you want things to build up, this is the moment where you make things hit and go crazy. There it is. Oh, love that hit. So, so good. This buildup right here really makes me think about the couple's entrance. Now introducing our wedding couple. It's happening right here. It's gonna be this intense moment as the DJ's announcing them. They come in, song hits, and then we are right into first dances. I really love the electric guitar that comes in here at the end too, that higher. Oh, it's good. It's real, real good. One of my favorite songs in this playlist. Moving on, we have I Heard It In A Dream by my boy Jay Denton. I don't actually know him or anything like that, but Jay Denton has two songs on this playlist because we really like him and he has some really, really great music. This song has a lot going on. You get your synth, you have maybe some audio, somebody like, Ooh, singing a little bit. I can't hit the high notes. This song continues with a heavy synth until about midway through whenever some real intense drums start to come in. The song definitely has a darker tone, but the audio of the person singing lends it a bit of hope. It makes me think of Lord of the Rings a little bit, just, just a bit. If you think your couple can handle it, this song does build really nicely and could definitely be used for a more dramatic couple. Dramatic footage of the couple together, walking, making out, hanging out together, doing things like that. Footage of the couple dancing. Really, this song is very versatile if you think your couple can handle it. The ending too. Let's now bring up the intensity with Up the Stream by Slurpstrom. Slurpstream? Slurpstorm? It's probably Slipstream, but I like calling it Slurpstorm. So this is Slurpstorm. Upbeat piano, here we go, here we go. The song feels positive and high energy. Great if you have a couple where they have 
posts that are being said about them that are funny or if they have funny letters or if they're just a high energy happy couple. This could work great for footage of the two of them getting ready. This song could also work well for a first dance where you want to cut quickly from shot to shot of the couple dancing. I love this quieter moment here. It keeps up the energy without being just so intense throughout. So if you need to let your film take a breather before you bring back the high energy, this is a good time to do it. Then it gets back to crazy and some vocals come in. Overall, really like the high energy nature of this song. Okay, I told you that we love Jay Denton, enough to put two of his songs on this playlist. This is not alone by Jay Denton, and it is the first lyrical song on this playlist. Gonna warn you now, you may need a bit more of a country couple to use this song. It's definitely guitar driven. I'm from Texas, so I film a lot of country weddings, so this is a song that I would easily be able to use in one of my wedding films. But. If you have a couple that's in the city, maybe don't use this song. But if you have a couple that's having a barn wedding out in the country, this might be the song for you. The great news about this song is that these lyrics are positive and actually usable in a wedding film. Sometimes you have songs where the lyrics are not the most positive or they're about death or sadness or breaking up and you're like, I can't use this in my video because this couple just got married. Thankfully, this song is positive though. Alone in this world, you are not alone. See, I can do this. One of my favorite parts of this song is about to happen. Whenever this waveform hits right about here, things are gonna ratchet up the intensity. Get those oohs and ahs coming in, yeah. So pretty. Okay, imagine this moment. Things are really, really intense, and then the song gets quiet, and you cut to footage of the couple together, dancing alone on the dance floor, holding each other, and it's this super sweet, romantic moment as Jay is singing about you are not alone, you're together. Oh, it's just so sweet and romantic. And then the song's gonna hit again here, and we go to more high energy dancing with the couple and everybody else. It's good. It's good, love this song. And that is why Jay Denton has two songs on this playlist, because he's just so good. Also, just a heads up here, there is a non-lyrical version of this song. So if you want to use this song just as an instrumental, you have the option to do that as well. I hear you now, Matt, I need more dancing music. This stuff is great, not alone, definitely had some dance vibes to it, but where's my electronic dance music, Matt? I got you covered. This is perfectly messed up by J-A-K. I'm assuming it's just Jack, but it's got periods, so I'm gonna call it J-A-K. Don't let the subtlety of the start fool you. This song gets a little crazy. Here building, here building. You want your dance song. This could definitely work as a dance song if your couple can handle it. Definitely more electronic vibe. Maybe not alone for your country couples. And this more for your city couples. I really like the versatility of this song also. It's not just loud all the way through. You have quieter at the start, then it gets louder, quieter again, louder again, quieter, louder. So you can really chop up this song if you need to to make it fit the dance vibes that you're going for. You don't have to have it intense all the way throughout, but you could cut out some of these quiet moments if you did want that intensity. Three left. Next is What Love Is Like This by Sajan Narial. I really hope I'm pronouncing that properly. First impressions, this is a weird kind of Pac-Man vibe song. You're probably thinking, Matt, where are you going with this? How would I use this in a wedding? Well, give it a second here for the waveform to hit right about this moment here. See, nice, complex cool electronic vibes. This could be used for a lot of stuff. If you have a cool couple, you could use this for footage of the couple together and that could work really, really well because it's different. It's a cool vibe. It's intense, but it isn't like overly electronic. I think it's pretty and I think it could definitely work. Things come down here with a quieter guitar and drum. So if you wanted to fade out in this moment, you could and move on to another song if you just wanted to use this initial moment of the song. But if you wanna keep it going, there's another hit and more of the song sounds like it did toward the beginning. 
Saving the best for last here, this is now my favorite part of the song. That guitar comes in, yes! This part you could easily use for high energy footage of the couple dancing. Real intense, I love it. Dialing the intensity back a little bit, we have Illuminating Moonlight by Cody Martin. Starts off, little electronic vibes. Piano coming in here, things are a little more subtle. Feels calmer. Could definitely work for footage of the couple getting ready, putting on the tie, putting on the outfit. Some nice heartfelt words being spoken about them letters, etc. That could definitely work for this moment. But you're noticing over here, wait a second, Matt, there's some louder waveform stuff. What happens over here? Let's check it out. A little more intense, a little more high energy. Not too intense, though. This still could work for couple prep throughout, which is nice. Or you could use that moment there where it hit to transition to something else. It could be footage of the couple dancing. That could work. I hear you now saying, Matt, you know what this song needs? More electric guitar, and I agree with you. See, it's nice, it's real nice. This part is a little too intense to use for prep, I think. So, right whenever that song hits, you're probably gonna wanna transition to something else, but this could literally be anything. Could be a couple together, could be them dancing slow, could be them dancing fast. You have a lot of versatility with this song. Last but not least, I would like to invite you to discover the song Discovery by Zach Nelson. Man, I'm running out of jokes here at the end. I'm also gonna tell you it might have saved the best for last. Guitar building, here we go, here we go, right from the start. All right. Okay. Just give you a little taste. So Zach does, gives you a little taste at the start, then he dials it back. He's like, that's what you want, right? Well, you gotta wait for it, okay. Rewind it back here. How cool would it be to use this song for a wedding trailer and you actually just use the whole song? It starts off a little calmer, suddenly things go really intense, you're like, boom, 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 look at all this cool stuff that happened on this wedding day, it was so awesome. And then it's like, oh yeah, that was some cool stuff, right? Okay, cool, let's dial it back here. Here's the couple, here's some stuff about them. We got some audio playing. You're learning things about them here. Really cool. They're getting ready for the day. Oh wait, hold on. Oh dang, what is this? Is this first dance? Oh wow, we're right into it. Okay, cool. I dig it. Got a little subtle vocals there. Things come down here again. Maybe we are now in the build up to the ceremony. Oh, the couple's about to see each other and they're gonna be pronounced husband and wife just crazy. And boom, now pronounce you husband and wife. Ah, crazy. Now we're together, we're happy, everybody's cheering, freaking out. Transition to reception. Chill, here we go. Establishing shots, couples coming in. And we have first dance, we have parent dances. We got them smashing cake in each other's face. Great intensity and versatility with this song. You have so much to use here. If you needed just one song for a wedding trailer, you could use this one song and it would hit those highs and lows. You could have the entire wedding film in one trailer. If you do that, email that to me. I wanna see it, see how it looks. Like I said, saved one of the best songs for last. Just wanted to have my words end with the music. It's cool. And those are my favorite 12 artless songs available for you to license for your wedding films. But I hear you now saying, Matt, I need more music. I've already licensed these songs. I need more ideas for music that I can use in my wedding films. This is why I created a service called Matt's Music List, which you can subscribe to for $3.99 per month and receive a playlist every month of my latest favorite songs from Artlist. Just like this video, I will even tell you how I would use them in a wedding film. You can check out Matt's Music List at mattsmusiclist.com. With that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you in giving you some ideas for music to use in your wedding films from Artlist. Please remember you can sign up for Artlist at the link down in the description and get those two extra months for free. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.